thank you to the Gin and Juice podcast sponsors, which you'll hear a little bit more about in the episode. But before we get started, let's go ahead and hear about HelloFresh. Hungry for variety? HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week. Get 50% off plus free shipping on your first box with code JUICE50. JUICE50. At HelloFresh.com slash JUICE50. JUICE50. Let's get into it. I forgot I was working. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to eat this. I say, Ebo, I'm hungry. I was supposed to work out this morning. I didn't go to sleep till 3.30 this morning, so I didn't work out. Why you didn't go to sleep? I'll just be up. My, you know what it is? Mm-mm. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Gin Juice Podcast. I am Melissa. And I'm Mel. And we talk about life. Uh, You know, some a little bit of everything, a little bit of nothing at all. And I apologize if y'all hear me smacking. I'm eating, trying to eat this acai bowl because I'm hungry. Uh, yesterday was Easter. Mm-hmm. I made the John Legend's fried chicken, which is always amazing in my household. It's always is. a hit. I made um, candy yams. This guy oh, nice. from, I forget it. I think his name is like Smoking Grillin' or something like that on, on YouTube. YouTube. I found him before. Uh, all his recipes are hit. Be hitting. I, I've never made one of his recipes that That's has not, good. not been good. And his... Um, uh, sweet potato r- or candy yams recipe uh-huh. is so easy. It oh. takes literally like not including the prep time, which is like, you know, peeling the sweet mm-hmm. potatoes and cutting it up. But just like once you start cooking, it takes like 25 minutes. Oh, that's amazing. And they are perfect. Oh, I'm going to have to make them. so good. I highly smoking and grilling with at AB. Yes, AB. that's it. Thank you. Uh, his. It, like all of his food is so good the yams like and i have struggled to make good yams like my entire marriage like i just i gave up my sister-in-law tammy she makes fantastic mm-hmm. yams actually um but obviously she doesn't live near us so i've been trying to find some place you know some recipe that i really really liked and his kills like it is so easy it is so good the only thing he adds ginger and like orange zest or something oh. anybody got time for that i don't be doing all that i feel like that's probably good one day the I should do it. Is probably popping. One day I should I don't do know it. About I don't. I just do the sugar, the brown yeah. sugar, and the other stuff. But it'd be popping every time. It'd be really good. But I said all that to say, and I got an IV because we went to. That's probably why my skin looks like this too. Oh, it looked great. I got an IV yesterday. Your skin, the shirt, the the earrings. Yeah, I think that's what it it's is. All a vibe. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I got the IV yesterday. Giving spring. Uh, because we traveled, and you know, it'd just be you know nice to kind of like detox and like wake yourself up. But I think it prevented me from um going to sleep because sometimes uh, she gives me the ones that give you that picker upper. So I was oh, up to like three thirty, and uh, this morning, and we were supposed to wake up at six to work out. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do it. And did Kev go? Uh, Kev did go. He did. Uh, but our trainer overslept, which was the first time he's ever done that. So that didn't work. But I said all that to say, when you're just up and you can't sleep, I become a victim to my brain. Oh, yeah. It's not good. No. I, I got to find an intervention to, like, tell my brain to shut up sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I really yeah. do. That's I got to find a way. So anyway, I don't even know why I told you all that. So we like to start this podcast with a little segment we like to call, um, long story short, like what I just did was actually yes. low-key a long story short, but we were both on spring break last week. Uh, we, our, my family actually made it. We had a good time. How was your spring break? Well, actually, even before we say that, you were talking about, um, we were talking about how great your skin looks and like the oh, yeah. IV and like how yeah. much energy and all of that. One of the other things yes. that can give you great energy uh, are vitamins. Yes. And shout out to one of our sponsors, Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. Care of wants to make it easy to take care of you and recognizes everyday wellness is different for everyone. So you simply take a short, in-depth quiz about your lifestyle, health goal, and health goals for a personalized doctor-backed recommendation, taking the guesswork out of what supplements are best suited for you. So uh, as you guys know, we care of is a sponsor of this podcast, and they gave us some vitamins. I took the very easy. Uh, survey questionare. It's you kind of put mm-hmm. in there what you need, like your what health you're looking goals. to. Exactly. 
one of the things I said was energy Mm because I feel like I'm just constantly exhausted and needing like a picker upper. Um, And so I've been taking them and do feel good. Actually, I can tell a difference between before taking. They make a huge difference and they're so easy. Mm -hmm. The fact that they like lay it out for you. They come in the little packet. And it's personalized with your name on it. What you have to take, how many, like it's not all of that guesswork legit is taken out, which is. So phenomenal dope. and it really works so shout out to care of um so for 50 percent off of your first care of order go to take care of.com and enter code gj50 gj50 to get 50 percent off of your first care of order so that is take care of.com and enter code gj50 gj50 and you will get 50 percent off of your for- first care of order Bob, you love. Love it. Okay. Go ahead. Um, spring break. Spring break. We had, okay, I have a couple updates. Okay. Number one, Isaiah f- tongue kissed that little girl. Last time you said you asked him and he didn't know how. So he didn't know how. He said. How he learned. So I don't know. He said the little girl kissed him. Uh. He didn't know what to do. So he kissed back and he was like, and then we were kissing. Where? When they went to the movies. I know that's what I say. I say you'll never go to the movies again. That's the problem. You'll never go a day. In your all life. the little hoodlums always. All the church people tell you, you can't go to the they, movies. They always it's dark. Mm-hmm. Your parents usually ain't with you. I said that's it. You're never going to the movies again a day in your life. What movie they was even seeing? They, they went to go know. see. They don't even know. Uh, John Wick. They don't know how. Yeah, it was. I know. They should have asked them how was it. Have. What happened in the well, story? I really should have. What was the plot? Mm. Who was in it? So that happened. And uh, wait, you just asked him how did this oh, come out? Oh, so great question. So when we're in Hawaii, we played the "Tell Me Something You Lied About" oh, game. Yes, so yes, it's yes. a game that you play with your kids. You tell me something you li- previously lied about. Now it's the time to tell me the truth, and like this is your like free zone. Like yes. you, you won't get in trouble. So um, Isaiah, as a matter of fact, we were just talking after that, and that's kind of how it got into it. So Isaiah, he didn't lie the first time, but he was like, y'all want me to tell you everything, so I'm about to tell y'all everything. So that's when he told us oh, Lord. that he kissed the girl. Although Joe talked about he want to go to a private school next year. He said, I want to fight this kid. He don't know what he wants. No, this is what he said. He said, my friend goes to this school that he now wants to go to, and they get out at 1 o'clock. That's the motivation. And that's the motivation. This man, Joe, well, he is I, I the said, most logical person oh I have ever God. met in my life. I said, oh, they said I put him on blast. <laughs> Please cut this part. Fine, I'll to cut it out, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he said he wants to go to um, the school because they get out at one o'clock. I was like, that's your that's hilarious i said joe you're in the middle of like your senior year yeah like i don't understand like it's the middle of your senior year i don't well, wait, or joe. not senior year you're middle of your high school oh i was like not wait hold on. sorry sorry, sorry. Jumped. it's the middle of high school like i don't understand i don't understand why you want do leave. they go earlier does he recognize that part no so it's the same time but they get out at one o'clock and then on another day or no, actually, they probably do go earlier because Joe actually goes to school kind of later in the day. So, yeah, he probably does go about an hour later or so. Or she hour just, earlier. what, he wants yeah. more time in the day to do what? Uh, that's what I'd be like, Josiah, what? What, what he got to do? Uh, cheat on this too. Well. Um, so, that was that. I'm going to take it out, y'all. <laughs> I, I don't think it makes a big difference because I didn't tell y'all the teacher's name. If y'all don't know the school, it's going to be okay. But I'm going to take it out. Just on the, just in case y'all are correct, I'm going to take it out. Um, okay. Then the last thing is, this is all about Josiah. Josiah took the Delta slippers. Those are my show and tell. They're in the car. I left them in there. But when we got off the plane, he was like, I'm taking these. To the people? No, to, to me your, and Kev. Oh, okay. And I was like, but you didn't even open them. The plane ride's over, so you don't have to take them. He was like, no. And I was like, actually, take two. Amen. Uh, take mine, too. Amen. Because you already paid for it. Mm-hmm. So. Take them. So take it. And then the last thing He's is. He's so logical. I love yes, the la- Oh, two things. Uh, the last thing on the Hawaii trip is I had a you moment. Okay. And I told on this customer. Yes. So this is what happened. Okay. In Hawaii, it was uh, windy. It's always windy. Yeah, there. yeah. And so it was windy, and uh, we went to, like, this food truck area where they have, like, really good food, actually. Like, really, really good food. So anyway, we're sitting down. It's windy, and it's and the sun, uh, the sun is out, obviously. So it's 80 degrees, but it's windy. And so this couple, uh, I go to get our table, and she 
pops the umbrella up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, bet. If we could do that, I'm yeah. str- I'm going to go take this table and, uh, uh, you know, take this table and do the thing. Mm-hmm. I go to sit down and the guy comes out and he says, you can't lift this up because it's too windy. It could oh, fly yeah. off. And I said, well, they got theirs up. <laughs> you see them over there? What he, what, they got theirs up. And he walked his little butt over and there he told them and he to- told them to take it down. And Kevin said, why would you do that? Because we couldn't do it. <laughs> fair is fair. I if I have to sit at this table in the hot sun in the hot sun because of the wind because of the wind they do they too. do too absolutely they do too Share I'm sorry this. so lit I mean my hand couldn't have popped up faster <laughs> you, ma'am I'm so sorry. literally he was like ma'am I'm so sorry we can't have the umbrella up because it's too windy I said <laughs> damn there's a they them right there. Yep. Can you see it? If you move to the left a little bit and duck your head, the you one with it. the red shirt yeah, over there. They have theirs. Up. She. They have the umbrella. Listen Tell to them me. too. Yeah. Them. And so he went over there and told them. And now both all y'all. And high. now all of us. I don't care. All of us will be hot. All umbrella of us will be sweaty. Sweaty. All of us will be umbrella list. I do not care. I hate you for the this. answer. <laughs> is they got theirs up because they gave me the idea. Yeah, yeah, I saw I them it. too. Yeah, so I mean, listen, hey. that's what it is. I'm hey. sorry, uh, Melissa hey. is the Karen. The correct. <laughs> I don't care. I, literally, after I did it, I told Kev. I was like, Mel just told us this story about her doing this, to, or not. It's not exactly yeah, the but, same, uh-huh. but like telling you them the thing. Tell. And I was like, I don't care. Tell. I don't care. <laughs> and then the very, very last thing. It, I had so much to happen over spring break, but the very last thing is Robert and Bria are having a baby. I saw that. That's Did you see so that, Cam? Exciting. I like. I literally sat in the moment of realizing that an entire like family, yes. a new like arm of a family tree it's- has been created as a result of. That's crazy, then a mug. Forever. Forever. Well, Miss Kev on stage had a show. Ain't that crazy? Called Love on Stage. I she like, and the stage crew no, and, and the that's audience the other paired thing. us as much together. as um as much as obviously this is my show. You know yeah. we're doing the things. Listen, can't be in this room with me. We'd be talking about the people and doing the things. Okay, that all of that is absolutely true. What is also true is we be honoring y'all votes, though. Uh So, like, that really was, like, voted for by the people, you know? Uh So as much as, like, I'm a part of it, the reality is if you voted for Robert and Bria, you helped make that love connection. They got married for real legally. Yeah. And then freaking are pregnant with a child. That's up so exciting. A freaking whole so entire child. To think that these two people were meant to be together, but were also meant to be together through that process. That's crazy. Like, I am really, I, I, I legitimately overwhelmed by it a little that's bit. That's exciting. Like, legitimately, so legitimately overwhelmed by it a little bit. Yeah, no, she said we did the show. I am legitimately overwhelmed by it. It is truly, um, you know, when people say, like, it's so humbling, I always think that's weird phrasing. Mm. But I feel like in this, it really is humbling. Yeah. Like, it really is one of those things where you're just like, dang, like, that's really crazy. That is really, 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 really it crazy. Is. So um, y'all voted that. No, I didn't cry, though. But I was like overwhelmed in yeah, it. Like yeah. I did sit in it for a while. We voted that we would be the auntie crew. Yes. So I hope it's a if it's a boy, they should name him crew. At, oh, that's actually kind of cute. Isn't it's like it? a middle name. No. Oh, as a first. I name? mean, a first or a middle. I don't know. I, I just feel think like crew you... is a cute name and also like. Stage crew. Crew. I know I get the connection. I feel like middle name. I don't know if I could. Uh, I could <laughs> I was doing a lot. Okay, it's fine. Uh, uh, Love on for those of you wondering, because they're wondering in the chat, and those of you listening, uh, delay. Love on stage season three, or I'm sorry, season two update has been filmed. Yes, it is currently being uh, <coughs> edited, mm-hmm. and then once that drops, it'll lead into uh, the new show we have coming on the app, 
uh, the honey do list honey do do. after that. So uh, just know that that uh, update is coming. So, yeah, that's it. You guys did a lot. Um, and we actually hadn't even talked about it. Yeah, it was a it was a good time. Hawaii is. Turn your sound off. I thought I did. I noticed I was driving. Stop. See it? Oh, I guess it wasn't. Um, it's not off. I didn't do it. I can't. Oh, let me do it. Uh, there we go. Uh, Hawaii was fun. I we've gone almost every year since 2018, mm-hmm. except for like Florida, which oh, was yeah. my personal favorite spring me break too. we've taken. I tell the kids that I want to go back. I we that was a good time. Was I want to go such this summer. A good time. Yeah. Uh, but when you go to the same place over and over and over and over, you'd be like, what else can yeah, I do? Yeah. What else can I? So we struggled a little bit to find things to do, but I was able, we did like the jet skiing, mm. we did the parasailing, we did, went to like, um, I don't want to say the name incorrect, but it's where like, uh, Jurassic Park was filmed and oh. like 51st Dates and like a lot of different movies uh-huh. are filmed in this, uh, ranch. So that was really cool. Um, and we had, a, I mean, truly it was one of the better Hawaii vacations we've oh, nice. had. It was a good time. Yeah, we did. We really did. We did have a good time. My kids are super, they're big now mm-hmm. and they, but they don't listen all the way. So I told Joe to, this is all about Joe. This whole segment's about Joe. Told Joe, I planned this uh, nice dinner. So I was like, make sure you guys bring your like a nice shirt and pants normally i either pack the boys clothes or at the very least i check behind them yeah yeah because of everything that happened i didn't have time to do that but i'm like you guys are 14 and 16 you should be able to like yeah yeah, you know the rules we get there to the dinner joe comes in my room in our uh, hotel room and he's like um this the only shirt i have and it's a nike t-shirt i said joe i asked you to bring like a collared shirt and some pants He's like, uh, oh, okay, let me go grab it. He comes back with the exact same shirt. The, so this still is the only shirt that I brought Correct. here. I said, Josiah. And Isaiah came out. And he was like, dude, she took... Because Isaiah had his shirt. Had his stuff like, together. He had his stuff yeah. together. And so he ends up putting on sweatpants because he also didn't have pants. So he puts on these sweatpants. But this is the thing. He knew he did wrong. Okay. He yes, he was ready for vacation. So he knew he did wrong. So he attempted to wash his sweatpants so at least they would be clean because he wore them to the ranch but let me tell you he completely drenched them and then just put them in the dryer i'm so so, confused so then when i go to him i'm like josiah where are your pants he's like they're not drying like they've been in here for like an hour which tells me you knew like leading up yes you you was trying to cover yes so i go and the pants, you can literally wring, wring them. them. Out. I said, Josiah, you have to drink. You have to. It's a there's spin, a spin it. cycle. Yeah, on there's the a washer spin cycle on the wash that to gets drink. the water and out. And then you put it yeah. in the dryer. He was like, oh. I see. Uh, I knew that part. I was like, child, this is why, this is why I have to look up after yeah, y'all. This is why I have to pack y'all bags because, son, what are you doing? That's hilarious. So, yeah. Uh, he didn't want to get on the parasailing. You know, Joe don't be here no, for the yeah, foolishness. Yeah, yeah. Joe was like, y'all have a good time. Have a good time. I'll be here to tell the story if something happens. Amen. Okay? <laughs> uh, but that was actually, I wish he would have done it because it really wasn't as scary. I know my face looked crazy, and this is why I have to get braids because when short hair gets wet, oh, yeah. it looks crazy yeah, if yeah. it's not done. And it was windy. I just told y'all. So, like, my hair was just, like, I haven't got my hair done. All I did was wash it. It looks good. Yeah, but I just washed it. Yeah, yeah. You can't do the... Mm-hmm. Like I, you know, I need a day to do that. Yeah. So I was just out here looking crazy, but it really was a good time. And once you're up, it's fine. But coming, have you gone parasailing? Yeah, yeah. You have, right? Mm-hmm. Was it windy? Uh, no. When you, so you you had a smooth, smooth, uh huh, uh-huh. So mine wasn't because it was windy. Oh. So you're just kind of, oh, it's like yeah. turbulence. Uh huh. Uh, but once you're up, it it's, was it yeah. Was a good you're time. like coasting. Yeah, it was it's really cool. Way less drama than you think yes i i the, was like so this is it huh legitimately we just we just hang out up here legitimately yeah, yeah once we were i was like oh hey, oh what are we doing but then once you're up i was like oh my god this is yeah. like yes less drama like being on a roller coaster even if it's shorter yeah is far more. scarier 
So anyway, that was my long story short. That was 30 minutes long. Um, let me just quickly tell you what's what's uh, the most drama ever. What? Skydiving. I want to do it. Listen, skydiving is everything that you think it's going to be. Like how terrifying you think it is. That's exactly how it is. You are like, why the hell? The whole time you're in the plane going up, you're like, well, this what? is a stupid idea. I should get off. Yeah, it's a little, and we went with some old country boys, okay? And they are just Was this on your honeymoon? Jo- no. I randomly one day was like, Greg, Saturday, <laughs> skydiving, <laughs> made the appointment already, meet you there, don't beat me there. <laughs> Let me tell you, terrified. I was on that. I, all, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, Greg. Actually, we should not do that. And then the way that they had us seated, Greg was behind me, and I love to book crazy adventure things for us, but I love for him to do it first. Right. And they made me go first, oh. and I was like, no, no. And the moment that you go from plane to air, because there's a literal, like, you got you to gotta get off. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying. Terrifying. It is everything it is hyped up to be. Absolutely terrifying. Do you guys have video, right? Yes. That is hidden. My video is hidden. Okay. They oh, gave it to Greg- me, and I have it tucked away somewhere. Greg has asked about that. We probably went 10 years ago. That man has still, I, I, none of your business. I'm not. Greg, I think I've seen see. Greg. You have. Because Greg's because looks cool. Because Greg's Greg is, is so in the air cool. like him. He's throwing up zone six. <laughs> He's doing peace signs. He's doing dances. I look like I am dying. <laughs> Literally dying. <laughs> I am dying. To the point, to the point, they tell you many times. Do not touch. Do not hit the person who's on your back, the instructor person oh. with you. Do not touch them because, like, they are. They, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole video, I'm smacking him. Literally smacking him in the face, screaming. Hilarious. I yelled, I can't breathe. And he was like, you're talking, which means you can breathe. <laughs> and I was like, no, no. I'm, like, kicking How and far screaming. How far were you? I don't even remember. It was very high. It was. How long do you fall? So here's the thing. I was second, right? And there was probably, I don't even know, eight, maybe eight or ten people. Oh, wow. Okay, and I'm, like, number two. So maybe eight, right? So there's six people, right? I did that math. Six people behind me. You free fall, and then they pull the um, parachute, and then you essentially parasail down, right? I had smacked him and reacted so much <laughs> that by the time I got to the ground, everybody else had landed because they their free fall is faster, right? Oh. So everybody's on the ground, and then I'm just like, no, no. <laughs> so the whole time Wait, they're so free. So he fa- pulled the he thing. He pulled it way early. early. I free, I don't even, I probably was free falling for five seconds, and I was like, nope. <laughs> everybody else, 20 seconds, you know, you're going. I was up there just parasailing down, essentially, is what happened. <laughs> and then I just glided right oh on in. Greg beat God. me there. Greg was like, uh, we were down here waiting. Yeah, I bet you were. I had a great time. Oh, my God. It is the best, worst thing. I like you. It was also exhausting. Really? We because took you were screaming. The, na- the, the naps of our lives after that. <laughs> I just remember going home and, like, passing out. I, if you have not gone skydiving, Go. And then be mad. Would you do it again? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh. Never again. I kind of want to do it. You should do. I think Pete, you should go. I kind of want to do it. Have you gone, Cam? No, but it's something that's on my mind. Oh, my gosh. It is terrible. I kind of want to do Everyone it. Everyone should go. All right. Anyway, I'll be quick because we got to get to Love is Blind. Yes. Um, and my long story short is going to go into my pop the trunk. So we did the cruise. McKinley had a great time. She didn't know what to do with herself. She Mm. just, everything was amazing. They have stores. It's like a mall. They have rooms. It's like a hotel. They have a (laughs) pool. It's like a theme park. Everything's amazing. This girl. That is the most accurate description of a cruise, though. It's like all of those things in one. Mommy, we haven't gone to all the floors yet. And I'm like, I think think we have. (laughs) And then they have the little, like, kid room. So you can put your kids in there for, and they have activities. So she wanted to do that. She, McKinley's the friendliest person. And so mm-hmm. at dinner, she's like, that's my friend. That's my. And they're coming up like, hi, McKinley. Aww. Hi, McKinley. McKinley's like, hi, hi. Those are my friends. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but also it was cold. 
uh, because LA has been cold and that part of Mexico apparently is is they actually said it's very similar to San Diego. Um, uh, and so it's windy and so that that's, makes sense. those are the vibes. So we were cold. Um, so I was annoyed um, and then worried about the kids being cold. Um, but two things. We got off in Ensenada and we went to some they had like a flea market thing like whatever we did it because we didn't we wanted to explore and get off so that was cool the people on the bus were a couple people were from atlanta so of course greg like oh you know i'm group decade oh atlanta oh blah. Yeah. so now it's a whole thing uh, um so that was cool on the way back we do the little thing whatever we do the flea market shopping yeah. eat some really great food they had a whole pharmacy there mm. where you can like get U.S. prescribed medicine, but like in Mexico, you don't have to get it prescribed. You can just go into the pharmacy and get it. So they were like, literally, he's like oxycodone, and I was, I was like, like uh-huh. that sounds like drugs. It was drug. I was like, oh, this is terrible. You <laughs> druggies. Um, that was like mind blowing to me. But we are leaving to get back to the cruise ship, and. I'm in the first or second seat with the baby and McKinley and Greg's like a couple seats behind us with the stroller. All of a sudden this woman and this man, they're arguing. Oh, and the, uh, woman, the Mexican woman, she like legit born and raised in Sonata is the host of the trip. And these people are just screaming at each other. Okay. This woman, Going and so the woman's mom stands up and she's a bigger lady and she's in between. He's sitting behind the mom and then her daughter is sitting in front of her and she's like, "Shut the mama, shut up, shut up. You are not shut up. You are." And she like, "Nah, I'll." Get. She's like going off to the point she like wants to hit him. Apparently, this man that she's arguing with, yeah, is her friend's husband. So she's on a trip with her friend. Okay, and it's her friend's husband. Her husband is sitting right there. He says nothing. And these this man and this woman arguing, all the other men, including Greg, are looking because I think everyone is nervous that they're so going, going to, to hit, each other. Hit, yeah. hit each other. And this man is going to hit this woman. But she is, like, really ra- riled up. And he is kind of chill. Anyway, it was, like, wild. Did you find out what they were arguing about, though? So th- her son... Okay. Had did something. He was a younger boy. I don't know what he did, but he did something. And the man was trying to correct him, but not in like a disrespectful way. I think he was doing something that was could be harmful for him. Uh-huh. So he's like, "Hey, like sit down. Yeah. Like you all, you good? Like yeah. sit down." And she gets upset, I guess, about him talking to her son. Oh. It got so crazy. The lady in the front, the little tour guide lady, was stressed out. Child, the other black people, you know, black people um, love to be yeah. messy. Sing, they sing in kumbaya. It was McKinley's covering her ears. I was like, get me Can off. we get this get off? off. Get, I'm ready to go. Thank get you. Get me home. This is a mess. You people are a mess. Okay. Thank you so much. So anyway, it was quite a time. Okay. Quite a time. But from um, the cruise and, and here are my two pop the trunks. Okay. Oh. It was carnival. We have historically done Royal, Royal Caribbean. Caribbean. I lessened my expectations no and i've been on a carnival cruise it wasn't with my family but like i've been the food everything they say about carnival food is true it's gross okay (laughs) it is not good it is not worth your time you are ups it is upsetting okay the drinks all cruises they water down their drinks so you should like go in expecting that so we're at dinner one night and I have already put in put up with your your bland basic nasty food, okay? Yes. I have put up with your watery drinks. I have paid my good US dollars, okay, for these terrible drinks. And so I love a good um chocolate martini. martini uh-huh. So I see one on the menu and I was like, "Oh, for my dessert, let me have a chocolate watered down martini. It's going to be fine." They bring me the the chocolate martini and it's disgusting. It's not even like it's not watered down. It's not. It's nasty. L- oh, like they made it wrong. The liquor is cheap mm. and gross and strong, mm. and you can't even taste the chocolate. It's just like gross, cheap liquor. Ooh. Okay, like that's the taste. So I literally was like, oh, that's that doesn't taste good. Like either you guys make a nasty, like intentionally make this nasty, <laughs> or somebody messed up. So I tell the waiter, hey, this is not good. 
I'll have the other drink I've been having, a little tropical Mai Tai situation. This is gross. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I can't take it back. And I was like, why? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, you will take it back today. I don't, I don't, I don't understand what rule you're up. Like, this isn't, I don't, here you go. And so he was like, well, I'm going to have to get a manager. And I was like, you should get one. Wait, this is so odd. And mind you, I didn't get a drink package. Okay. So I've paid $12 for, for this, this nasty yeah. chocolate martini. So she's like, I'm going to have to get the, he's like, I'm going to get the manager, get the manager. The manager comes over and he was like, Hey, I heard you're not happy with the drink. And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's like nasty. Here you go. And he was like, well, and I was like, what? He was like, so he's kind of looking and Greg's kind of looking. And I was like, I would love the Mai Tai. <laughs> like, where do we go from here? I don't really. I was. I can leave it here. So you can bring confused. out the Mai Tai, but I only expect one line on my bill. There What's was next? not another option so i was so confused like why are you talking to me as if like why are you still here get the other drink there so he takes it and then he brings me the drink i want and then our raider was like so sorry i just couldn't have done that and i'm like i don't know why y'all are making a big deal about this it's i don't i I paid for it and if you you drink it i don't understand what What else would have happened yes i don't know that's why i was so confused like why are you wasting time that I, I don't and it was and literally I was like this is nasty this doesn't taste good take it back it was I was just like carnival you won't get another dollar out of me ever again in your life okay I know we went McKinley had a great time bye that's it thanks so much bye I did, we did the thing I'm not doing it again the uh carnival it leaves out of long beach so it's really convenient it is but it's not i I just wish there's a royal caribbean version of it that goes out of long beach as well i didn't know that we didn't um when i went to book that one it was already sold out so that's why we did carnival oh i wonder if that i don't remember that being the case for us but maybe it was there was an option Girl, I wouldn't recommend anybody go on Carnival and don't go to Ensenada. It's cold. I was going to say that. The other thing, though, is specifically Carnival on that little, like, well, you did a longer one. We just did, like, a little three-day situation, and it felt like a little three-day situation. (laughs) Well, so ours was four because we were supposed to stop in Catalina Island. The problem is it was so cold and so windy that they were like, we can't stop. So it's going to be an additional sea day. So we just, and then it was so rocky. I'm old, okay? Because I was sea like, seasickness. Seasick is real. Sea is real. <gasps> I should have just went back to it dang might old Margaritaville. Just be, it might just be um, the specific Carnival, Long Beach, Ensenada route. Yeah. Like the ship is low key kind of old as well. Mm. It feels. It feels rinky-dink. Yeah, it feels it rinky-dink. Feels if you've had a good time on Carnival, that's More I'm sure you have. You. But specifically on no. the Carnival uh, cruise ship that leaves out of that Long Beach area, don't do it. I don't recommend. Do not that's do when it. We went when we did, uh, I just posted the picture and my family's on horses. That's that, that's that, that's that boat. That's that boat. Uh, for everyone telling me Disney, listen, I wanted to do Disney. It didn't. My, I'm going on a Disney cruise. That's going to happen. I'm taking the children. The problem is they didn't have one during spring break. Right. There's one this month, but it's like later on this month. When and do so, they normally do? Out of, uh, where does it uh, depart? I think out of Florida. A whole bunch of yeah, family influencers just did Disney, too. They like had a oh, bunch yeah, of them yeah, on yeah. there. I was like, y'all could have invited me. I got a family. Y'all could have sponsored my trip. But I do want to do a, a Disney cruise because they look, and I'm sure they're they amazing. They look amazing, and they have the fireworks. It looks, and they're going to have all the things for the kid. Like, yes. it's going to happen. I just don't recommend at least Carnival out of Long Beach. That's what don't I'm saying. Do it. I don't recommend don't it Don't do it. You're wasting your time, wasting your money. Don't I don't do, do it. And if you don't live on the West Coast, ain't no reason ain't come no over reason to, to come the over Long Beach one. Just Mm-mm. go to Florida. Go to the go to Royal Caribbean. Go out of Florida. For real. Um, okay, but going into that, McKinley was on my nerves. Kimmy! Because, listen, she in general be on my nerves, but, like, she's getting older and so more on my nerves. And so what she likes to do, and kids in general, they swear they're, they are, like, the grammar police, right? So I'm like... I have my shoes on and instead of saying shoes I say like or I have my socks on and instead of saying socks I say shoes oh let me take my shoe off 
<laughs> you said shoes. <laughs> Mommy, you said shoes. Or like, oh my gosh, I need to, that pin over there. That's a pencil. Oh, not Lord. a pin, oh, mommy. My God. And I'm just like, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Miscorrect everything I say. Aren't you proud <laughs> of yourself? I could throw you That's out the, of this house. It's so annoying. That's the best. It don't matter what you say. They they sway. They swear. Oh, swear. they know more than you. Swear. They are the guy. I you said. I, I don't care what I said. Okay. They know more than you. It's so, it's so annoying. I'm like, girl, how lo how much longer until you're out of this phase? Because it's not. They cute. said middle school gets worse. The boys. Well, actually, Joe's in high school. He's still like that. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. Isaiah's not like that though. But Joe. It makes me find so much joy in correcting her. her. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you said. <laughs> <laughs> she's like Ew. you hurt my kitty, feelings when you say, say that kitty her magic because you're a little sister you used oh, to do that to nick i just was telling her i was like do you know i'm the youngest yes i'm a little sister you're legit she's like you are yes girl that's why joe does it you want to be little petty too. let's go yeah i raise you one <laughs> this girl <laughs> it's so annoying so anyway i just wanted to pop the trunk on little kids who sway swear that they have oh. to correct you every time you say anything incorrect that's hilarious meanwhile can't spell can't don't know how to make proper sentences can't write on the line straight okay <laughs> here's the line why your letter's up here you got so much to say but can't write on lines paper oh miss we, big and bad oh, oh really God. we were having this conversation did you ever come back from spring break? I mean, a uh, summer break and forget how to spell basic words like of specifically? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We somebody posted this, and I remember being in like probably like seventh, sixth, or seventh grade, like old enough to know, okay, and coming back and being like, I don't know how to spell <laughs> of. Is it O V E? <laughs> like literally <laughs> struggling. Yes. To spell the word of, like you be so dumb over yes. spring, uh, spring summer, break, summer break, and come, come back, back and, and be no like, nothing. "How come I don't know how to spell <laughs> the?" <laughs> Somebody posted it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" I thought I was the only no. person that didn't know. Like, would come I back forget. after yes. summer break and be like, "I don't know how to spell none of these words." Uh, wait, one more thing. Sorry, before I go, because she pissed me off last night. Kitty? Again. McKinley, she pissed me off. Uh, I don't even remember what she did, but she pissed me off. And I went in her room. This, this is what happens. She puts, there was probably seven water bottles. This is just a whole pop the chunk on the I know, kids. I'm about to be gone because we got to get to love is blind. But she ha had like seven water bottles in her room. Oh, she's me. And so I was like, every time I found another one, I just like kept getting upset. Uh -huh. So I did what I do. I threw away everything mm -hmm. I, on the floor. I rearranged her whole room, did a whole thing. I mean, everything is in the trash this morning. It brought me so much joy. Um, and so she, the whole time, you said that, I don't even, she making up. You said that you were, you were going to let me clean. You said, whatever. Anyway, I was. Nothing I brings mothers more joy oh. than throwing everything Everything away. in that room. It looks so much better this morning. Oh, it yeah. Great. It, you go in there and be proud. Look, yes. Look, look at how this. clean look. it is. Look at how clean. It's probably dirty right now. This room is. Okay, moving on. Let's do it. Love is blind. First of all, we missed a heck of a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, we did. I went back and watched it cuz y'all know we 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 talked about yes. it and I didn't have a chance to watch it. And so yes. Mel was doing it and she was doing it quick. I said, "Mel, we need to re we, yes. do." So First of all, yes, and Bartise it does have a baby on the way. Okay, he does have a baby on the and way. His baby mama, and that's correct. But these people, okay, pull up the people's man. Okay, pull Ooh. up the people. Yes. Okay. Oh well, actually, just we got to start with Jackie and Marshall. Let's just Let, yes, immediately yes, start with them. I've been following Jackie. Oh, yes, the baby stuff. has been born, not on the way. You write about Bartice it. Has, that whole baby is has born. A child. Correct. Okay, Bartise has a baby. Correct. Yes. I've been following Jackie on the TikTok. Okay. I want her to say no more words. Amen. I want her to say nothing else. Nothing else. Because there is nothing that she is saying that is helping her case. No. 
she said, first of all, that her, which the camera's editing can make things look sure. a certain way. Sure. The problem is that she said to him, I just saw, what's his name? Joseph? Oh, what is his name? Um, Y'all gonna say it. What is Joshua? his name? Joshua? Josh? Josh. I think it's Josh. Okay. Uh, let's Josh. Me. The way I just did my ear is why I need to do better in life. Um, Cause you know, he got that cauliflower ear. Oh. He, he's obviously a, a boxer. He's clearly a boxer. Yes. Yeah, Josh. She is lying. Lying. And she's like, I'm going to have all the receipts. He said this, that, and the third. No, ma'am. Then her text message thread was posted. Oh, I didn't see that. So, Oh, I did. I did. Where her and her friends, yes. where she was basically calling Marshall gay. Gay. For, for, for being nice. She said he twerked or something on the bed. Girl, he was being nice to you. He was. I mean, he, he was being nice to you. He he made you breakfast. He was so sweet and kind. I think, listen, I think that she made a decision to go with the nice guy. Yes. I think in the pods, right, she was like, Josh Going is back here, and forth. Yes. bad boy, what I typically date. Uh, Marshall is a good guy that I typically don't go for. I'm going to try it out. Yes. And... That's fine. Commendable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should absolutely try. And learning, realizing that you don't like the, per especially on this show, because the whole point is that you date and yeah. like figure it out. All of that is fine. I ain't got no problems with that. The problem is she came out and the was way a that she handled it. She was a jerk, a total, total jerk to him. She, and he was not, this is nothing the thing though. The nice. only thing. He was nothing but nice, except, except when he, when he said, said your project. Child. Okay, now listen. I, I was said, like, now Marshall. Now, why would you? You cannot do that. You sir. can't say that out loud. She do, she should curse you out right now. She absolutely. Because that's kinda, not okay ever to say. Yeah, but it wasn't nice though, Marshall. You can't be saying those no. type of things to the folks out no, loud absolutely on camera. Not. That no. wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. You got some nerve to be trying to call somebody a project. Yeah. If she was a project and you chose her, guess what? You failed this project. Yeah, exactly. This is the F that you get. Yeah, absolutely. However. So, yeah, but she is, uh, she 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 bypassed old girl who was a, the oh original gosh, villain. Oh, my gosh, Irina. Irina, thank you. She's worse. She's far worse. She missed the, on top of all of her breakdowns, which last time we gave her grace. We sure. We did. gave her grace because I didn't know about her, her father dad. and all of that stuff. And that is sad. And, like, girl, I'm sure that, like, weighs really oh, heavy sure. on you. But to take that and then treat Marshall the way that she did, girl, okay, the grace is pulled back now. Because he was literally trying to be there for you, trying to comfort you. You're having multiple breakdowns. Yes. And now you're mad at this guy because he didn't tell you to man up or, like, he, hey, hey, get it right. together. Like, no, no. And then when she when he was like, you accepted my proposal, I should get the ring back. And she said, I'm going to keep I'm the gonna ring. I'm going to keep the ring. And then posted the the rings were purchased by, by producers, which, girl, we all figured well, that. Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. thinks that people are buying it. The reality is his point is that you accepted his, his proposal. Ring, right. And what I learned from Judge Miliana, Judge Mathis, one of the judge shows a long time ago, is that engagement rings are conditional gifts. Contra oh, the gifts. condition... Being marriage. That makes if sense to me. If you do not get married, that condition is not met. That means that ring, that it's no longer yours. Yes. Give it back to me. I agree. So she is trash and apparently broke because you, all you want to do is keep the ring so, so you, you can, can go up yeah. on it, get some money for it. Girl. If you so cute, get a ring from Josh then. If that's who you want, what you going to do with Marshall's love is fine ring? Right. right. Broke. It's giving broke. It's giving broke. I, I, I don't like her. No. I don't like her. We, the finale is live. Y'all know the finale is live. Oh, yeah. We watching that. It's live next we week Friday. Um, yeah, I, she is not, she, I know people were saying this. I just watched this. Somebody tagged me in this. And it's a man. With this kid voice, apparently this kid filter, mm -hmm. and he said, "I don't care what y'all say. Love is blind. I love love is blind. I love love is blind." This one. Let me see. This is something that I'm not proud of, of admitting, but love is blind is my shit. I'm not gonna lie. How I said everything this season, they really didn't did it up. They, <laughs> they didn't. They didn't did it up. 
Chinooka really like irritating me during this whole debacle of a, a pretend relationship. <laughs> no, it ain't Kwame. Uh, you know he got some shit he got to get off his his head or or his mind. I mean, I do hate his hair. And no, it ain't mm -hmm. Irina. We all know she's a piece of shit. It's just it's been established. We all know that. Mm -hmm. Jackie takes the cake by far. The she she wins villain of Love Is Blind season four. Like she knew she. That's didn't the like other thing. Before. Is every. I don't remember. No, there was a villain in season one. Who? That white girl that was with the shorter dude. I don't uh, Jessica. I think her name was Jessica. Okay. Or Jessica. Yes, Jessica. Okay. Uh, she dated the short, short dude, and he was like head over heels in love with her. Oh, I don't remember. Y'all be having good memory. This one? No, because no. they're still married. No, no, no. Not her. Scroll back up. Scroll back up. Do Jessica season one. Oh, Cass. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she was the villain. I forgot about that. Jessica, Mark, thank you. Mark. So the thing about this show is I don't know when it became like every year there is a villain. Villain. Like, I didn't realize that about this show, but yeah. there is someone is going to. And Irina, this was the thing. It seemed like everybody was trying to play Kwame, which that's not to say Kwame don't have his own issues. He Somebody said this on TikTok, and I was like, yes. Her name is Jessica, too, right? Kwame's uh, fiance? Uh, no, it's... Uh, Chelsea? Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea gives these vibes, and I was like, I've been trying to pinpoint it, and that's it. Because I'm like, he doesn't like her, but she like is yes. head over heels. It's almost like she's trying to manipulate him uh -huh. to meet her yes. emotional energy uh -huh. by going when it's so obvious oh my God. that he does not. I honestly thought when he was like, I need you to meet my mom, my mom, da, 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 I said, oh, he's trying to sabotage this by way of his mama. Uh, so if his mom meets her yeah. and is like, no, I can't do it, he'd then, be like, well, you know, it's my mom. I yeah. love my mom, you know, so like maybe we can back off because he didn't have the balls to just do it himself. Right, right. I don't know. This show's crazy. Well, here's the thing, though. Okay, well, two things. Kwame apparently was on Oh, Married yes, at he, first was on, he was on Married at First Sight season, like, 10 or something. I do... I, we had a guy try out for uh, the Love on Stage show that was uh, trying out for, like, uh, or tried out for a couple different mm -hmm. reality shows. Yeah. And then in the interview with me, he was like, you know, it, you know, in case this don't work out, I'm also available to host. Like I can host this show. I can host, you know, any show on the yes. camera. Do you remember this, uh, Cam? And I was like, yes and no for me. If you're not here for the intent yes. of this, yes. then it's going to be a no for me, dog. And I feel like maybe Kwame really does think he's ready for relationships or maybe he's just trying to get famous. I don't know. I, right, right. But like. I can't all the way tell. Yes, yes, I can't either. But to your point about like meeting her, it she it seems like obsessed with marriage and being in a marriage. It don't matter with who, and this is probably the closest she's ever gotten. So she's latching so on. So she's latching on. Meanwhile, the only thing Kwame hates more than Chelsea is living the idea of living in Seattle. Absolutely. And so at this point, I'm like, bruh, just just, both. just let it go. If you get rid of one, you get rid of the both. other. You should just release both of these things back into the atmosphere. Yeah. They are not yours. They're they, not. You do not want them. And she clearly has planned out their entire life. Her lives. entire the oh way this is gonna look in my wedding yes. pictures and my she just engagement needed to photos. slide him right. She they just, took engagement photos. Yes. Girl. She I I have a dream You're, and we need to execute you, uh, this Those, is just a male figure. Yeah, absolutely. I don't he's Slide a in. nondescript absolutely. male figure. Oh my gosh. Anyone could fit. Anyone. I'm available and ready for anyone to fit. Oh. I just need these markers to be hit. Absolutely. I hope they make it, child. I really it child in underwear. I really hope they make it because Cringe. Why did they do that? Uh, she did that. She, she wanted because that was her vision. She said, "Oh no, I'm gonna have engagement photos too, like the regular people who didn't do it I, on I'm the show." I'm doing everything I ever Absolutely. dreamt of doing. Hated it. Yeah, hated, hated it. it. She, if they, if they say yes, they will not last. Absolutely. Because I looked it up, so I won't say if they last or not. I, so my I, guess, I, I saw if they, who got married. I saw. I think you sent me one spoiler, uh -huh. but it wasn't this couple. No. 
I don't remember who it was though. Anyway, there, I, I, I hope they say no is actually what I hope. I really, I really want them to say no. Yes. They, they need to say no because they are, he needs to say no for his own sanity. He obviously does not like anything about this relationship or her. Um, Hold on before. I just want to quickly say somebody said that Marshall should get with Ayana. Uh, who? <gasps> oh, from um the little short girl. I was just on her Instagram. Isn't that a good idea? I wouldn't mind this. Uh, Ayana from what was she on? She was Love on... is Blind season two. Love is Blind. J- Jared, right? Because it was it was Jared. Yeah, it was, it was Jared, the black guy. And they yeah, he was enough. It should be Marshall and Ayana. They have good energy. I feel like they can match. I feel like that they, they she should. She needs a good guy. She's a good girl. Yes. Um, and she seems like a good time too. Yes. Like she be having me cracking it. Yes. That would be that yeah, would be her. good. Yeah, yeah. She's, I think see, that she's should... so spunky. Yes. I like her. And I feel like his vibe, I feel like it could work. Anyway, uh, okay, so moving on to the, uh we're gonna go to Zach and nope. Zach and uh homegirl. What's Bliss? her name? Bliss. I wanna go there only because what's really interesting. Right. Is that Zach was with Irina and then pivoted and got with Bliss Bliss, uh and uh, Jackie went with Marshall and then pivoted and is now with Josh. So they're essentially doing the same thing. The problem is in Zach's case, he's not the villain. Instead, it's still Irina. And in this case, uh, Jackie is the the villain, villain. which lets you know that it's about execution. Absolutely. It's about how they're doing. Absolutely. He's doing it much better. He cut it off with Irina that was very clear and then he pursued it he is not and she is like I'm not gonna go to the fitting instead I'm gonna go on a coffee date just ditch the fitting and didn't didn't let him know anything so he's still thinking to the point that Brett has to is the one that has to let him know at the fitting so it's really the like girl you are the villain you are doing this this is another example and he's doing it much better anyway moving on to Zach and Bliss when Zach went to Bliss's daddy house You want to talk about awkward. But let me tell you something. Bliss's daddy was the only person I've ever seen on any dating show like The Married at First Sight and The Love is Blind. That was real. Yeah, yeah. Like, you are being a fool. Yeah, but. This is is foolish. I agree. But here's my question, though. Because. You did a dating show. So is it foolish because of how quick it is because it was blind? Or is it foolish because what makes it foolish? Yes. Because yes. That Listen, you, the idea- I did a whole dating show for people to date. It was never for marriage. So oh, even when your, okay. uh, when they I was like, oh, no, are y'all sure? Like, this is a huge yeah. step. Yeah, are y'all like 100 uh, percent sure? I st- I have my own personal like, look, listen, uh, don't get caught up in the cameras now. <laughs> this is your life this is your life this is for real for real yes if my child came to me and was like mom i did this you did now what hold on and what happened because of and now today you show because of the time you don't believe in love at first sight you don't believe love do you believe love is blind i believe love takes time (laughs) i believe love takes time I believe I need to see you. The spinoff of Love is Blood. Come on. Is love takes time. And love takes time. <laughs> I think infatuation is at first sight. I think that uh, butterflies happen instantly. Okay. But I believe that love is not actually this, like, what's the word I'm looking for? High energy feeling. It's more sustained. Ah. And so I think when you have those like bursts, yes. the reality is if you're with someone for, be with someone for six months and it's probably going to die out. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think those feelings are other things and okay. they help like kind of fuel the feeling of love that becomes more sustained. But I don't think like the way they say love so easily. Yeah, they I'll do. I'll be like, ooh, child. Like I haven't even, I haven't even seen you in fall. Like it's nice out. Yeah. Some people get yeah. seasonal depression. That's so real. Like how do I don't know you for yeah. real? For real, I don't know how you really travel. <laughs> I haven't even I haven't seen your house. Like you mean, t- and I'm gonna go in your house. Whose house was it? Uh, the little white boy Paul. Uh huh. And, Paul and Micah. uh, was it Kwame's house too? Disgusting. Was it Kwame's? 
He he's in Portland. I don't remember which one of their houses. I was like, uh, one of somebody's house was bad. I'm a throw up. Aww. Like I just feel like I would. I need to see. I don't love you. Oh, she said Kwame was dirty. Okay, I was like, girl, nah, it's enough for me, dog. I can't do the love thing that quickly. I I just I can't do it. I be cringy. You be too. I do get cringy, but I feel like I. If McKinley was like, mommy, I did a dating show and this man proposed and we finna Let's get married. Let's not talk about McKinley. Let's talk about Tiffany and Brett. I feel like <laughs> they are amazing. I no, and I believe that they are they, a real match. So this and is that the thing. they should get married and that they would be able to make it. So what I actually believe is that we always find the exceptions and try to make them the rule. Mm. I believe okay. that Lauren and Cam. Yes. I love them. Right. Robert and Bria. Love them. Okay. And if Tiffany and Brett don't say yes this season, I'm going to be done with the entire show. Okay. You, you'll I be back next season. Love them. <laughs> Brett is freaking phenomenal. He really seems like a great I man. I mean, he, he just does. he and the way he does. like the way she was so concerned. Actually, I, you know what? I'm gonna take it back. She was she wasn't verbally concerned about the rent or whatever yeah but this man said you know in order for us to have space yes if we need a three bedroom i got that yes if we need to split the bill 70 30 you don't have to suggest it you don't have to tell me your financial situation yeah, yeah. and let me know that you make less than me and meeting me 50 50 is not going to be reasonable so let me just say yeah as a family which is just us two if we need a bigger space i got you boo 70 30 is not a thing for me yeah yeah because that's what i need that's what i like you my boo i said i do let's do the yeah, things yeah. together what i look like invoicing you hello my he wife did, he did he did for 50 percent of the yes, mortgage are you did. crazy we ain't doing that i said now brit i know you are use the person i'm yeah. confused why you done had to go on this show <laughs> but use the person to be okay yeah so there are people but i believe more people than not I would be I would be Brett. I wouldn't be Brett's daddy. I mean, uh, Bliss's daddy, yeah. but I also would be Bliss's daddy. Yeah, okay. Like, I would yeah. have questions. Like, he was, I mean, they clearly have something I know, else there, going. There's, like, some issues there yeah, that he was also. There was a lot of other. And I didn't realize Bliss was 32. Oh, I don't think I did either. When she was, like, because he was talking to her like she was 20-something. Yeah, yeah, And that's was. why I was like, well, girl, yeah, I get it. Like, you you being dumb. yeah. She was like, I am, I think she said 32. Yeah, uh -huh. And I was like, oh, wait, she a full grown woman. Yeah. Daddy, what you just fussing her out for and getting all angry and banging the table? Then he gonna say, he says he's a lawyer. <laughs> I mean, but Loki, I would be like that too. Like, uh, I, uh, you can tell me anything. I don't know this man. I don't know this man. He could be lying. He could be lying. Yeah. I mean, I guess he's smart, but who knows? Yeah. yeah. I ain't asking him no math questions. But they all kept talking about how smart she is. And you know what? I just have to quickly say, because I really like Tiffany and Bliss. I really like Tiffany and Bliss. Okay. I just like the fact, first off, that they are women, black. I think well, Bliss. Uh, Bliss identifies as like a lot of Persian, things, right? black, white. She has a lot of things, yeah. yes. Um, you're correct. So let me just say, I really like, I like Brett. I think he's a good man. I also really like Tiffany. I love Cause Tiffany. I'm like, you are good. You mm -hmm. are my kind of black woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, she got like, she can get her stuff together. She's smart. She can, I, I like her, but bliss also a lot of people kept her friends and family. were yeah. talking about how smart she, she is. is yeah. And I was like, I love this for her. I just feel like her daddy was rude, oh, but I also so think the stuff that he's saying, not the, not that it's, she, I don't think they gonna last I don't because either. I feel like it's the resentment though. Like I feel like she ain't oh. gonna be able to get over this second I choice. I don't think she all the option. way likes him in person, Ooh. the way she liked him in the pods. Oh. And maybe it has to do with the fact that he chose wrong. Yeah. To begin with, yeah. that I'm sure those two things can't be like you know. Yeah. I, I don't know. Unconnected. Okay. I don't know the word. Um, but it doesn't, it seems like he really likes her. I would be completely freaked out if I was with this man and he looked at me like oh, this. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, it would not, it would not be all right. I would be I like. I would have tapped out. Enough. No. And I think the way she, he's like constantly on her yes. and hugging her and stuff. I low key think she'd be like, my Enough. Enough. You can back up. You now. can back up now. Yeah, like no, this is I a agree. lot. 
Um, so I don't know. I don't think she. I don't think she's into him as mm. I do think she likes him, but I do also think she's not as into him in real life as she probably was behind I the pods. Can, I actually agree with that. I agree with that. And yeah. he seems weird. He intense. Intense. And that just it seems all I like, bro. What are, what is you doing? Yeah, he's back odd. up. Chill out. He's a, take he's, a chill. Yeah, he's a he's a little too much. He's uh, a little too much, but you know, what well, is she like it? I love it. Is that the couple <laughs> I know that ended right? Is that the couple I know that ended too? Because I look, he want her to say no. Those, you know, uh, here's what I will say: from everything I was looking up, they are the only couple that I don't know okay, the well, actual the, I, the I, result of. I know everybody else. I don't know what happens with them. I want her to say no. I I, I want her to be honest with herself. Yes, yeah, and yeah. And be like, nah, I, you. In addition to you choosing wrong, which apparently for her means something about his character or his judgment. I haven't quite figured out. But like and the resentment thing, I really think that she like is weirded out by him. I think he's just weird. Um, So I hope she says no. And I hope. uh, No, not a hope. Tiffany and Brett better say yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they better say yes. And Kwame should say no. And what about... uh... Oh, I gotta use Zachary, not Zach. That's why you know I couldn't figure out the the if they got together or not. I the marriage certificate is I didn't use Zachary. I use Zach. Oh, uh, I'm gonna try it again. Uh, okay, but what about Micah and Paul? So Micah and Paul, I don't remember who you sent me, Chad. Micah and Paul, I think that. Um. Oh, this is the other thing I was gonna say. Yep. Bliss's daddy got into her head though. I think so too. Her yes. her tune kind of changed, changed a little bit after the meeting with him. And as much as it seems like they have a lot of like you know daddy daughter issues yeah. with one another, communications issue, they don't really agree, you know whatever. It seems like she took what he said and maybe it tap dance on an existing uh. fear. Yeah. Or, you know, a feeling that she had. Uh-huh. And so now she was yeah. like verbalizing it, you know? Yeah. Um, that's the other thing that I was like, I, I don't know. I feel like something was there and all daddy did was confirm, mm-hmm. you know, what she was probably already feeling. And then uh, who is it? Micah and Paul. So I like Paul. Mm-hmm. I actually really do. I really like uh, Paul. Micah, I don't like her friends. I was going to say, does her friend love her? I don't think so. I think her friend is a low-key hater and oh. covers it up as I'm trying to do what's best for you. Yeah. But I don't I don't think that girl like her. I I couldn't figure out if she was in love with her. Uh, listen, it was or given friend of me. It was given friend of me. Or a hater, yeah. I yeah, I didn't like I didn't like her. She uh yeah, she definitely has poor choice of friends and her um but I don't but it seems like she really likes him. Mm. I don't feel like he does. She does. I kind of feel like, I feel like she's on the fence. But if I had to choose, I feel like she likes him. Okay. I feel like he's more on the fence. Oh. Maybe. Because didn't he like, so in the beginning, wasn't he questioning his decision? Didn't he want to be with somebody else? Irina, right? Not Irina. I thought he wanted to be Amber. Was it Amber? Oh, oh, just Irina is the one that just came on to him. Yeah, then? I think that he liked. Yeah, it was oh. Amber. And so that storyline kind of died out. Oh, yeah. But in the beginning, he was like, I'm really questioning if I made the right decision. So I kind of feel like he's more on the fence. But I feel like he won her over, uh-huh. if that makes sense. Yeah, like, I feel yeah. like in the beginning, she wasn't so sure. And then after being with him, he won her over. And then he's still on the fence, on though. On the fence. One of the things that sucks about this is that I think um, some, especially in the case potentially of of Bliss and Zach as an example, is that you're so far in that sometimes you can trick yourself into believing that you're too far in to come back. And now I just have to wait until either the day to say I don't or even on that day I just got to commit and at some point I'll have to backtrack. Um, and anyway, so to that point, Paul, especially cause his mama didn't matter and the mom, and now they, the mama and her are texting and that's, calling. That's so he's kinda... like, I love, yeah, girl, this is great. What a life we're going to have. And people, the thing about it is 
people perform in front of cameras. That's true. And they don't even realize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even when I think back to Love on Stage season one, one person, mm-hmm. I feel like, was performing for the camera. Oh. You don't realize it in the moment, yeah. but I said something early on, or it actually wasn't early. I said something kind of in the middle-ish. And I was like, I don't know what it is, y'all, but like something feels off to me. Mm-hmm. But you don't, but you give people the benefit of the yeah, doubt. Yeah, yeah. You think people are, you take people at their word, whatever. And then you realize later, like, this was oh. all an act for you. Mm. This was all an act for you. Mm-hmm. And sometimes that's what happens, I feel like, in the show. You just kind of, you get caught up in the moment. You yeah. get caught up in the cameras. You get caught up in the feeling, whatever. You fantasize about this life and maybe it could work. And then once all the cameras are off, you be like, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I ever thought this was yeah, going to work. Yeah. I don't like you at all. At all. That's how I feel like about Kwame and um, old girl. That if he says yeah, he should say no. He should say Kwame no. Kwame say no. Yeah. But if you say yes, it's not going to last long because he should have said no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. He's going to be miserable and he's going to resent every part of her. Absolutely. He's going to. He's, he does not want to be in Seattle. That is like no. so evident. And so the, even when he was talking about uh, you just had, you get your family, you can take a break. My break is Portland. What am I going to do? Drive two out. That man is mad. He, he is, don't want to be I there. don't have no outlet. No, I don't have, I no, have no break friends. from you. I don't have no friends. I can't play soccer. The other thing, when they went to go try on their outfits and you had to bring a friend and Kwame bought somebody from Love is Blind. Oh, I missed that. Girl, when they're trying on their clothes. Yes. Uh, who did he bring? Uh, Brett had his friends. Marshall had his friends. Kwame had one of the guys from Love is Blind. Steven Sketchy? I said, oh, yes. Okay. Oh, Sketchy. Sorry. I was like, it was a white dude. I was like. Oh, his friends are white, too. You have no friends? Does, you have no friends. He don't have friends in Seattle because he's from Portland. Nobody could drive in. I don't. Yeah, it's that's, not. It's a quick that's drive. That's weird to that's me. That's a quick drive. Seattle to Portland. We did that all the time. Why you don't have no friends? Where are your friends at? They're all on dating shows. I r- saw on the TikTok that his sister ain't his sister. I said, I don't think that's real. I think that might be his sister. But folks on the TikTok be finding the tea. You hear me? They do. They be finding the tea. That's a mess. Mm. You saw it too, right? That it, I don't know who she is. I, I didn't watch the whole thing because I just said it out loud. But in the moment, I kind of side-eyed it because I was like, why would he bring a fake sister? That's weird because he's he he's not given the things he should be given. Yeah, I don't know. It just seemed weird. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, His groomsmen are from Love is Blind. He has no friends. Where are his friends? So was his whole entire purpose was to infiltrate the Love is Blind crew so he could be on the show? I it's it's giving um what's homeboy from the other sh- uh, season with a uh, yoga girl. Oh, SK. It's given SK. Yeah, he was here for the. He's another person performing for the camera. He was performing for the. He you had get, a whole different he life. He had a whole different life performing SK. for the cameras. He's uh, Kwame is giving me SK vibes. Scan like you guys. This is not authentic. This is not real. This is not who you really. And they, you can present so well yeah. to the producers, and then once you're in, I I know. I wish I could talk to them people. Like, at what point did you realize this, this wasn't what you thought mm-hmm. it was? At what point? Because I know you get an instinct where you're just like, mm, mm-hmm. "This something right? I don't know what it is, but something right." Ciao. Woo. Oh yeah, Catherine said the way y'all forget these people's names. You every know, time. every time I be quick. The thing is, I when I usually am bad about names, and I just remember you buy things right. The way Me that too. you're in my phone is like Shona soccer game, red hair, uh, mine right? Too. Or like this person's girlfriend, right? Like so, we actually have a person in our phone right now that we have the same tag to their name. I don't know exactly who, but I feel like I could guess. Um, because we shared it one time. Okay. Um, but that's not appropriate to say on this platform, right? Like, I don't want to say yeah, the yeah. things that, because, like, Kwame would be, like, bad hair. Like, the dude, yeah. the black guy with Somebody bad hair. Somebody said he always looked like he was laying down. He just got <laughs> just, up. That man's hair. Crispy. Girl. Somebody said they knew he played soccer before they knew he played soccer because he has a soccer hair, uh, haircut. He does have Him. a so- Yes. 
bets. Bad soccer hair is Kwame. That is who I would all the way, all the way. Tiffany and Brett are like the black oh. couple, the one that's in loves. Love them. Micah and Paul, and the very forgettable white couple. They, they are. Underwhelming. They're together. They, they don't have no storyline. They wouldn't make it to season two no. on a reality show because they Absol don't have. Those are the vibes. They have no storyline. Um, and uh, Bliss would make it though because her daddy would be so you married it, you married him yeah oh, I'm absolutely. finna have all the issues yeah I'm finna have all and you noticed the stepmama was just sitting there eating her food yeah she was that stepmama was like well mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sit here eat my food mind my business I mean Bliss you know your daddy girl yeah <laughs> for real you know for your real. daddy alright anything else Uh, I think that's it Micah is the mean girl with the scientist yup I, w I would go with that, and li I would literally, uh, Zach and Bliss, I would literally be like, he chose her after he chose somebody else. Second choice, girl. And uh, what about Jackie and uh, Marshall? That man with the pretty eyes. Man. And the the Latina. And I, I would just call her the Latina. Yeah, the Latina girl. She's like a dental assistant. She is. I she want so much more for her. That's the other thing. Okay, Jackie, we're really going to be call done. us, girl. We want, we want better a for you. I really do. Because after learning that her breakdowns were a result of her dad, yes. I really was like, oh, okay, I understand. Because yes. I was a little confused. I'm not going to lie. I was like, girl, like, are you just overwhelmed? Like, what's happening right. in your world? Like, is it is he, like, is his love too much for you to, like, take in? You didn't know you deserved this. Yes. Oh, my God. So to learn that, like, it was about her dad, it was a lot, all of that. Okay, fine. I'm going to give you that, like, grace. You know, whatever. But then to turn around and treat him the way that you did, it, it, it's, it, it, it's, I know she's posted. She was like, y'all keep thinking I want an abusive man. Like, why would I say that? I don't want that. Nobody wants right, right, an abusive right. man. You know what I mean? Nobody yeah. wants to be in a, in a mentally, emotionally, or physically abused. No one is like campaigning to be in an abusive relationship. Yeah, yeah. But to call the nice man gay. Mm -hmm. and you want him to man up i mm -hmm. think that's what she told him yes. man, you know man up or be those, aggressive Did or she be say aggressive? aggressive she may have even said aggressive like your Girl. wording though is giving you know yeah i want a rough <laughs> that can satisfy me like that's yes, what it's yes a little it's, chaos yeah it's giving that you like a little Makes chaos you want to check your phone or something yes it's giving that when things are me? like peaceful and calm and someone just loves you you become bored yeah yeah and so you need to strike yeah. up an argument and like hey what you doing <laughs> you don't want to hit like me because yeah. i'm doing this you don't want let me see your phone <laughs> yes. oh you just gonna give it you to ain't, me you ain't gonna cheat on me you or nothing your phone ain't even locked yeah. you gonna wake up before i do and make me these pancakes just gonna bring me you breakfast gay. You definitely gay. And that's unfortunate because she she's she's gonna Well, who knows? Maybe her and Josh will be happily ever after. Child, she ain't being but with Josh also, either. I know. Well, she right. didn't want to be with Josh. All right, y'all. Uh so these earrings I got Are from so this cute. uh listen, I saw one of the little fashion girlies that I follow with Thank it. You. And it looked adorable on her. I think they look good. I, they're, I like big earrings. We know this. My head is short. My hair is short. My head is little. So I like things that'll help like fill out and mm. give me like, you know, presents. Mm -hmm. These might be a little too big. No, I think they're great. <laughs> they might be a little. But I bought two pair. I bought a gold pair and a silver pair because I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit. We'll see. But they're, they're very not light. Heavy, right? They're not heavy. They're light. Uh, which y'all know I'm willing to sacrifice my earrings for a cute pair of heavy earrings. I just, that's just my life. But uh, I'll give you guys the website because it's not like a, it's like an Instagram store. Oh. It's not like Nordstrom yeah. or, you know what I mean? It's not like that. So I'll have to give it, find it and give it to y'all. I just opened it today. All right. Oh, I saw this. Last thing. Sorry. Yeah. Marshall is cousins with just, oh, from The Bachelor. I thought they said Justin from Married at First Sight. Oh, Got is it. he really? I saw that, but the thing said Justin from Married at First Sight. And I was like. I, I didn't know, know that. I, I also have never watched The Bachelor. Me and Becca watched the season with the Black Black Bachelor, Bachelor, and I can I see why people are all in. Really? Yeah, I, t I totally oh, see why. It says it really is his cousin. It really. Let me see what he looks like. They don't. don't know they're him. not like giving twins or anything. No, they no. no they don't look alike at all. Or, mm -mm. but I mean that's cool. Whatever. Mm -hmm. No, no hate or shade to if you want to go on a television show and no. find your partner. I. Actually, the thing about it. it is, um, regardless, it's a great experience. You learn so much about yourself. And 
when done right, you can legit like Married at First Sight doesn't have the highest success rate Mm, mm. but for the people that have found their partner i don't care about your success rate i found my person yeah yeah, like for robert and bria it doesn't matter the other two couples didn't make it they found each other you know yeah that's really all that matters for um uh bliss and tiff uh, not tiffany and brett yeah i don't care what they they better make it Hopefully. Let me do uh, What the Florida just because I see y'all um, and everybody sent me this What the Florida and I'm going oh, to read okay, it. Okay, do it. I, this one is sad. I don't know the details. So listen, this is sad. I like the like funny, crazy Florida ones, but let me read it. Florida man allegedly shoots couple in McDonald's drive through because their order was taking too long. I know a 28 year old man was arrested on Sunday and charged with two counts of attempted first degree murder in connection with the shooting outside a McDonald's restaurant in Lakeland. According to the police officers, they responded to reports of a fight between two men outside the McDonald's. Uh, When they arrived, they found a minivan in the driveway in the roadway directly in front of the restaurant inside a woman and a man had been shot. Uh, I know this one is sad. I don't be liking that. This all that's terrible. Uh, that's why it's like if you're in the drive-thru and you like slap somebody with a piece of pizza, that one yeah, is like, hilarious. you know, but like this is like sad. Like, I don't know. I, it doesn't say that these people lost their lives, thankfully, prayerfully that they didn't. Uh, but like, what the heck? Florida? What Dang, the that's Florida? Crazy. Yeah, what the Florida? Yeah. Uh, and you're right. Amani and Woody, too. Like, it don't matter. They found a happily ever after. Amen. All right. Uh, anything else? Devi. We'll be back on Friday. At, uh, <gasps> are we not going to record next Monday because you're going to be gone? Correct. So we're going to watch the reunion and not be able to talk about it? No, no, no. I'm sorry. We are recording on Monday. Oh, Friday and Monday. We're recording Friday and oh, Monday. Girl, yeah, I don't leave me. till Wednesday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, tune in on Friday because we have some special guests. We do. <laughs> I thought we did. I forgot. He's confirmed. He will be too. Okay. Um, so we'll be back on Friday. It'll basically be, here's the thing, the ball and the beautiful, and then us. So like, what time are we? 11? So like 9, 10, 11? On Friday? Yeah. I didn't know we had a time. Yes. Yeah. All right, girl. What Listen. time are we, Cam? It's fine. We'll be here on Friday. Yeah, apparently we'll be here. around 11. <laughs> With our special guest. It'll be a good time. Yeah, 11. Yeah, 9, 10, 11. Um, <laughs> see the shooting schedule for this week in the pit. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see it too then. <laughs> Did you confirm the podcast room too for us? All right. All right, y'all. Bye. Oh, that's what I was going to say. If you have time, because the Married at First uh, Love is Blind episodes come out on Thursday, that will watch those final episodes, hopefully, and then come in with that in preparation for the finale that we'll talk about on Monday. Wait, what? So on Friday, yes, we're going to talk about the episodes that would have released Thursday. What? There's no episodes released. Is there? Yes, the last three, because we got to see who gets married. Oh, and then it's a reunion. And then the reunion is on that ah. Sunday, so we'll talk about that on Monday. Okay, girl. Yeah. <laughs>